Welcome back to LearnWire. Today, I wanted to go over my LearnWirePro.com website. I had been mentioning before in some of my previous videos that I needed to do some different things to the site, maybe add a navigation bar, which we've added right over here. You can see the different categories over here. And I just had some things to do. We added a search right here where you can search for stuff. And then I added this line right here. Now, these might seem like simple, easy to do things. And they are when you have a WordPress theme that is designed to be customized, right? So like popcorn theme, for example, you're able to do almost anything that you want to with your website because they're coming out with new themes or t templates inside of the popcorn theme. But if you use a theme that you basically pick out, it's a pro theme or something like that, then you're able to get a nice look and feel. And the good thing about buying WordPress themes that are premium, you're going to get a bunch of different functionalities that you wouldn't have to go and get plugins for and so forth. But nonetheless, my WordPress theme is a little bit different. It's a dry bones. It, there's no options whatsoever for this theme. There's just no way to customize it. It's just completely built. If I actually go in to the site and show you, and I'll show you wh what this theme was and that the WordPress designer, the person that created this, stopped the support on this theme, right? So I'm on my own and I was forced to either pick a new theme or do some coding. And I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing in this is I'm going to show you how we used chat GPT to do all of the HTML coding for my website to add all this functionality. It's super cool. I am not a coder. I barely know a little bit of HTML, and so I don't really know how to do a whole lot of things. But ChatGPT took care of me. I'm going to show you if for those of you that are interested in, you probably can do almost anything on your website just using the power of ChatGPT. But let me show you, we come over here and I go to appearance and go to themes. This is the theme right here. It's called Carbonate or Carbonate theme, WordPress theme, right? And it was based on building a WordPress theme that, let's see if we go over here to WordPress Money Lab is the guy that created this, but he used to have a WordPress site that you could go to and that's no longer around. So he definitely stopped the support on the theme, right? And it wasn't that long ago, like right over here, Carbonate. So let's see if this uh, page even opens up right over here. So we'll click that. And look, we get an error of uh, 1014. So like the, it's gone, right? He's not selling the site, the, the page anymore or the theme and so forth, but it's okay. And he's sold this several times. I don't know if that's the total number right there, what that is, but nonetheless, you can't download the theme. It's gone, right? So you can't really get your hands on this at all. But this was a theme that, and he made videos on it and everything. I don't know why he stopped support on it, but uh, that's few and far between because if you already have, the theme was built on... If we come over here to the theme file editor, it has a theme file editor and you're able to come in here into all of the HTML. And I forgot what this is even called, like it's built on JavaScript or whatever it's built on. It's designed to be able to do coding right over here and it will impact the entire website. And so that's what he set it up for. So you can't just go and do customize and go and add menu bars and add widgets and so forth. It doesn't work like a normal traditional WordPress theme. And so I'm like, okay, I really like the way that this site looks though. I, I like the way that this pops the content on here. The fonts look really good and I just really liked my website. And I like the text. It's a perfect size text. It's clean, crisp, and I really liked it. I didn't want to move away. We also had this form that ended up that was all over the website. It was this green email sign up form. I got rid of that as well. So I want to show you guys what I did to do some of these things. So let's go over the things that I added. The first thing that I added was we had no way, or actually one of the first things I added was we only had six of the latest posts right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there was nothing else. It just sat here. And so I added it to be able to show my last 30 right over here. And I actually don't think this is showing the last 30, it's showing 30 posts because there's no way, that's not one of my last 30 posts. But we have all these posts right over here that it's showing. So it's showing 30 posts on the home page. 
We also added a search bar down here. But if people want to find more content, I probably need to add one more way for people to get to some down here. I might add that. But what I did was in order to add this right over here, there's a drop down that we did right over here. And let's go into ChatGPT and I'll show you. So add sidebar with categories. That's where I really started. And let me go and you can just see, look, I'm going to hover up and you'll see how much I worked on this. I actually worked on it for about half the day in order to get all this coding and do all these things right over here. There was a lot to go through right here. Just look at this. Just crazy how much content and coding that ChatGPT was able to do for me. I'm going to have to go scroll fast because look at this. It's just nuts. So we'll go all the way to the top. And here's where I started, guys. I said, here is some code on my WordPress site for single post pages. Can you make me some simple code that adds a sidebar to all posts on the site? The sidebar needs to have all categories listed on the site with a button that uh, people can click on to go to see posts in that category. Here's the code. So I took that code and it was from the single posts uh, page, right? So we come over here and let me show you what that looks like. So that's the sidebar right here. So it says categories. I was not able to just add a widget right over here like a traditional. So what makes this a little bit more fun or impressive in my opinion is this was not added by a widget like you traditionally do on a WordPress uh, website. This was all done with coding. And then on top of that, so on every page we have this, but here's another cool thing that it did for me was that when I hover down, look, on a Word, on a desktop site, it is now going to be pinned. It's a sticky sidebar, right? So as you're scrolling through, you can come over here and go to any other place on the site. We go to AI writing. It's going to take us to all the in the all the categories or posts that have AI writing on them, right? I don't have a whole lot of posts on the website. So really cool. We added this sidebar by using this code. I gave it the code on the website. And so what we had to do is we had to come in here and I had to go to the single posts right here, single posts page right over here and see here's all this code right here. So uh, what I originally did was we took the entire code here, I fed that in to ChatGPT. I believe that's the part right there. Oh, actually, no, here's the code from PHP header. So I actually went up to the header right over here and I gave a, a ChatGPT all of this code, right? And here's the category right here. Here's the, the new code that we put in here. And I gave the code to ChatGPT and then it said, okay, to add a sidebar that lists all categories with clickable buttons to see posts in each category, you'll need to modify the themes template pages and add some CSS. And you guys, I have no idea how to do this, right? But ChatGPT does. And I didn't even know where to place the code sometimes. And I would ask, where should I place the code? At this point, I already knew I was going to either be replacing my theme if I couldn't figure out coding like this. And so I was a little bit more of a risk taker when it came to messing up the code and so forth. I was already ready to move to a different theme. But since the coding worked out so well with ChatGPT, I'm going to keep the site at least for now. Keep the, the theme, right? So modify your theme's PHP file. So it says to go into the get categories function is used to fetch all categories. Here's the PHP for, and then you can copy it. And so this is where we put that coding in. And then this code assumes you are using bootstrap like framework. And I believe that is what this is built on. So it's easier to modify for code and then add CSS for styling. So it says to go into your CSS file and add all this sidebar stuff right over here, okay? So then you can see, so I did all that, right? I added that right here and then I went to style.css and I added in code as well uh, all the way to the bottom. We added in a bunch of code as well for styling. So then you can see I said, thanks for the first code you suggested is the additional existing, is this as existing? So these are the, the literally questions that I was asking it because I didn't know what I was doing. I said, is this code in addition to the existing code or is this a replacement, right? I needed to know if I needed to copy that code and paste it to the bottom or did I need to replace the entire code for that section? This worked great, but, but can we make the sidebar take up less width? Please update. Okay, so to adjust the sidebar, let's see right over here. I don't know where the answer for that came from, but it says make sure to back up your theme files, blah, blah, blah. 
So then I said I wanted to because it, it, when it when we got the side the sidebar it was it took up more space. So this part right over here was like right over here, right? So then the the real estate of the middle part of the website was very narrow. I didn't like that. I wanted this to take up less space. So I asked ChatGPT to do that. Can you adjust it by 30% less? And I even gave it the color green that I wanted it to use in the CSS and so forth. So it says a direct 30% reduction on a, a colon, M, which represents 33.33% of the container. Can be a bit tricky because Bootstrap's grid system doesn't allow for such precise adjustments. So by, the, by now, since uh, ChatGPT has seen my website code, it knows that it's built on Bootstrap. And so now it says instead Instead, we can approximately approximate this by changing the column classes to reflect a new distribution that approximates 30% reduction in sidebar, changing blah, blah, blah. Let's update the PHP and CSS. So it gave us the new PHP, and then it gave us the new CSS in order to make this stick as well. Here is my current code for style. So I gave it all the code for style. Boom, boom. And then right here, this is important, guys. This is how you would prompt ChatGPT. I said, please tell me where I should put input the supplied CSS code to adjust the sidebar hyperlink colors. To adjust the, uh, the hyperlink colors and sidebar, as requested, you should add the CSS code I provided earlier, specifically targeting the sidebar links to your existing style CSS file. So I just continued to ask specific questions where to put this, and then they made it easy. They said, here's how you can do it. Create a new section for sidebar styles, optional. So we put sidebar customizations in, right? So we'll come over here under style. We did sidebar customizations right here. So here's the brand new code. Everything underneath this is CSS that I added from ChatGPT. And it was multiple ones, but right over here, we just said sidebar customizations. And then we added all this code right here to adjust certain things. So then I went and added all that code. What else did we do? So you can just see how I just had a conversation. This is how ChatGPT, I believe, was actually built for. To, I'm having a conversation with ChatGPT. It continues to um, help me with coding my website and adding modifications. Then I was saying, hey, can we make this sticky? Okay, so here's the part. So somehow I got it. I also asked, can we get it to be stay in one place when we scroll down? We also got that. We also got the style and the CSS to be green, like the same color on my site up here. So this green text, the hyperlink text color matches my header up here as well. Just little things like that make it look really cool. And then here's where I said, hey, the home uh, page is... I always gave it the code that I'm talking about. I found the homepage uh, coding and I said, the homepage is only displaying six blog posts, which are the latest blog posts. I want to display 30 latest blog posts. Where would we add or fix this? To display 30 la latest blog uh, posts on your homepage, you would typically adjust the WordPress query, blah, 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 option one. So it gave us different options, gave us the coding and told us where in the latest PHP that we would change this. Option two, right over there. Back to the sidebar earlier, can we make it floating? Look at this. So I actually was like, oh, I want to make it floating. To make the sidebar floating, we added style CSS and we added that in right there. See, so you can see we just kept going down, having a conversation. And then I asked if I need to replace it, blah, blah, blah. When I was in doubt about something, I just asked ChatGPT and it gave me some great answers. Check this out. We did that and then I said, cool, it worked. There's an email signup form in the middle of all blog posts that I can't seem to find or get rid of. So we actually, I had to give it some different code from different areas. And we finally found the code and we got rid of it. So you can see we've already, we've made this floating sidebar right over here with categories. So people have a nice navigation when they land on a page, which is great. And then what else did we do? We got rid of a form that ended up on every page on the site. We got rid of that as well. We also added the ability to add all 30 uh, posts on the front page. We did that as well with coding. And I replaced all of the coding, all this custom coding right over here. You go to partials. We go over here into latest and this is where we got we changed this over here we changed this right here i figured out how to do this without having to use chat gpt i finally found where this was this said six and i just changed it to 30 that was very easy to do and then we just kept going down 
I also wanted to add a recommended posts section for each one. Let's see if that one actually worked. So we click on a blog post and then we go all the way to the bottom of the blog post and then it says keep reading and it's going to uh, find these posts based on tags of the website. So if I tag something with AI writing right here, then the, these other two posts over here were tagged with AI writing and so they will show up under keep reading, which is super cool. And then this naturally added some breadcrumbs right there as well. Super cool. And then we kept scrolling down, guys. And then there was little things that I needed needed to do. Oh, I want to center it now. So I said, for, C, for the CSS, please center it with the blog content. So to center it, boom, and then it gave me the code. So I, all you have to do is just basically ask ChatGBT what to do. You can supply it with the current code on your website, and then it will basically replace the code or give you an additional code to make the adjustments. Recommending posts literally ver uh, vertically and horizontally. So it gave me code. And then what did I do? Okay, the recommended post page. And, uh, and then I troubleshooted, right? We had some issues. We troubleshooted. We troubleshooted. We got through that. We got through it. And then what did we do over here? So back to one of the first things we added, which was the 30 posts on the home page. I want to add a button at the top that follows the same CSS as the sidebar and the button should say load more. Okay, so we didn't get that achieved. I'm gonna keep scrolling through. We did get it added, but it wasn't functioning correctly. So I went ahead and just took it off. But then right over here, I said, hey, I want to add a search bar. I wanna add a search bar that allows the user to search for a post based on a keyword. The style should be like the sidebar. So then ChatGPT gave me the coding. Boom, right over here. And we kept scrolling through. So you can see all the different things we added with ChatGPT. I did this entire coding on the website using ChatGPT. We added a custom sidebar. A lot of people, if you go and ask when they have a floating sidebar, you ha usually have to hire a developer to add this functionality in because they there isn't even any good options in the WordPress plugin uh, store. And so we were able to achieve that with custom coding. We were able to achieve this with custom coding, AI writer. We'll just type that in, push search. It's gonna find all the AI writers right over here. So that works right over there. We also added the um, category page so people can navigate the site. That's custom right there because this theme didn't even have a way to navigate or add a category page. We fixed our button over here. I'm confident in the ability of what I did that if I wanted to create another button and add it right next to this, uh, I would be able to do that. So super cool. We added different custom padding and so forth in here as well. And then finally, another what other thing did I do? I added the about LearnWire page right over here, which is nice as well. We uploaded, we updated our Gravatar as well. So the site's starting to look a lot better when we click on pages. Now we're going to start getting some of that EAT score because we have our Gravatar updated right here and a picture of myself. So the site is starting to come along and we're ready to start publishing more content on it. Let me know what you guys think of the site overall. I was pretty excited that I was able to take that chance of coding this custom website and adding some of the features that I wanted to without even having to hire a web developer that would have costed me hundreds of dollars just to get this done and a wait time. And just with one morning of working on my site and all this coding that we did on ChatGPT right here, we were able to add all those additions to the site. It was really fun working on this. And I made this video just so you, to open your eyes. If you go in there, all you have to do is go into your site and go in. And if you have a question, and if you don't even know where to find something, just ask ChatGPT and say, hey, I have a my header and I have this button here and I want to change the where it goes. And then ChatGPT, and then you can say, where would I find that in my WordPress theme files? It's probably gonna come back and say, that part right there is gonna be under the header PHP, and then we'll also have to do a little bit of C style CSS. It's most of coding is going to be functionality is going to be down here to change the coding and, and the appearance and function of your of your website. And then if you want to change the color and positioning of different things, that's when you go into style CSS. This was really cool. I just wanted you guys to know that you guys can add customizations to your websites as well by just working with ChatGPT. It just is mind blowing that I was able to without any coding knowledge, I was able to add all this stuff with just some chat GPT prompting. So I wanted to make that let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video.